My husband, he is the risk taker in the family, not me. He kept pushing me to start my own business. I called it NHK Consulting, my initials. I'm not that creative. <laughs> I was the first electrical female engineer to graduate from the American University of Beirut. I design projects that range from corporate office buildings to research labs, college campuses, airports, anything but not residential. My parents were farmers. They had their own land. In 1948, during the war that created the State of Israel, they fled to Lebanon. They housed the refugees, one family in each room, and uh, this is where I was born. There is no way I, I can even describe how miserable and how bad it was. No running water, in the houses, no sanitary in the houses. I believe the first time we had electric power, well, I was like 12 years old. My father worked paving streets. He felt that the only way we can change our conditions, our circumstances was through education. So he was willing to work day and night to get us well educated. Having been a refugee, having been poor, having the humiliation that we were subjected to every second of our life, that didn't give me the high self-esteem, but it gave me the push to succeed. The moment I got a job, my first goal was to get my family out of the refugee camp. So we rented an apartment in Beirut. I were actually finishing up our master degree program and it became very dangerous for us. So we submitted our thesis and, and left by car to Kuwait. And I was watching the news and I was so devastated. I was so scared. At the same time, I was so angry that we are helpless. I told my husband, I will not forgive myself if we keep these children raised in this area. Israel is not gonna stop there. This region is gonna be hell for, for generations. My husband and I looked at the map to see where St. Louis, Missouri is. We found that it's in the middle of the country, so we thought, great, the weather must be perfect, and it's a safe place because wars only happen on the coasts. <laughs> I do more than what the client expects, and that's what kept me in business. I always acted as if I am the owner of the project. What would I like to see if this is my building? I want to advise younger engineers or other people in the industry, so I want to be partially retired, not totally, because I'm afraid my brain will quit, and <laughs> that's the strongest thing in my body. <laughs> it's extremely important for those kids because feeling that you are below everybody else is, is a horrible feeling. 
And I don't want those kids to feel that way. They tell my story with pride instead of being ashamed that their mother came from a refugee camp. To me, making them feel proud rather than hide away their past is a great achievement. Thank you.